Okay, in this problem, we want to ask ourselves, is the following true or false? Okay, so we want to think about some properties of inequalities in order to compare these two expressions. So suppose we know it's true that 2 times x, that's less than or equal to negative 8. And we want to ask ourselves, then, would it be true that negative 2x would be less than or equal to positive 8? That's, that's what we're trying to address here. Well, let's think about what happens. So we know that 2x is less than or equal to negative 8. We can assume that that's true. Well, how did we go from you know, the first expression to the second, um, or the, the first inequality to the second inequality, I should say? Well, to me, it looks like we multiplied both sides by a negative 1. So I'm going to multiply the right side by a negative 1 as well. Okay, now this is where you have to be careful. This to me is you know, the, the one thing you have to really remember about inequalities. Um, one of the major things you have to remember about inequalities. If you multiply or divide by a negative number, which we certainly did in this case, remember that the inequality flips directions. So instead of being less than or equal to, it's going to flip around and become greater than or equal to. So if it were true that 2x is less than or equal to negative 8, we would end up getting that negative 2x is actually greater than or equal to, so negative 1 and negative 8 is positive 8. So we would actually get um, this statement, and in fact it wouldn't be correct to say that negative 2x is less than or equal to positive 8, because it should be negative 2x is greater than or equal to positive 8.